Right, let's take you to the courts now where the Johannesburg High Court has dismissed uh, Tabo Besta and uh, Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana's bid to stop the docu-series tracking Tabo Besta from airing. The four-part series was set to air on Showmax yesterday when an urgent court application was submitted. News from Africa's Zola Sholwana reports. It was early last year when South Africans got to know about the extravagant life of celebrity doctor Nandi Pamakudumana and her convicted rapist lover Tabo Besta. The couple was allegedly involved in multiple criminal activities and their story is now part of a four-part documentary series on Showmax. Both tried to block the broadcast of tracking Tabo Besta but their attempt failed in the Johannesburg High Court. Dr. Makudumana's lawyer argued that airing the series could prejudice her client's case in the Bloemfontein High Court. Paragraph 13 of MIDI deals with that. It says the exercise of press of freedom has the potential to cause prejudice to the administration of justice in various ways. And then it says at the end of that paragraph, I want, I want to just deal with it. It says various ways in which it can prejudice, but it says that is exhaustively how prejudice might occur. Besta's lawyer shared a similar sentiment. It could well be that Mr. Besta says, well, this witness is testifying within the purview of what is quote-unquote notoriously well known, and this witness is, is, is under pressure to testify consistent with what is in the public domain and what the public perception is. Whether my, my learned friend for the respondent says that your redress in due course would be to deal with that at trial. And what I say is Mr. Bester's concern and Mr. Bester's position is that it may well not be possible at that stage. Lawyers representing multi-choice dismiss suggestions that some witnesses featured in the docu-series could prejudice Tabo Bester's April 2022 prison escape case. Midi Television tells us that even if a witness to the crime is to be interviewed in a documentary who is going to give evidence, that doesn't translate into trial prejudice. After arguments were submitted, the presiding judge wasn't convinced by the applicant's case. Whatever the applicants have done, and whatever may appropriately be said about their conduct and character, and in this case a great deal may be said, the doors of the court are open to everyone. And I will not depart from that principle in this case, or risk departing from it, by making an adverse cost order. For all of those reasons, I make the following order. The applications are dismissed, and each party will pay their own costs. Reacting to the ruling, Bester's lawyer said they are disappointed by the judgment. I think we can say that we are very disappointed. However, we need to thank the court for at least listening to our clients. So the court was able to give us an opportunity to be heard. So our case was ventilated before the court. Unfortunately, the court does not agree um, to what we have presented. Our main case was that this is a matter that is interesting to the public and not necessarily a matter of public interest. And that is where uh, we were coming from, uh, firstly. And secondly, that it will trump upon our clients' rights um, in the pending uh, criminal, criminal case. Meanwhile, MultiChoice maintains that the public has every right to watch the documentary series and make their own opinion. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I am Zola Shalwana at the Johannesburg High Court.